like, I want to know, is there a chemical that hangs out with eczema? And we ran the analysis and without any doubt in the universe, the one that jumps out is something called diisocyanates. The side chain is isocyanates. I had never heard of it before either until we ran our analysis. So if you haven't heard of it, don't be surprised, I guess. So we start looking into what is this chemical. It was invented in the late 40s. Manufactured in the United States really starts right around 1970 when we start to see this rise in the disease. We're manufacturing in Erdisk, not like one guy in his lab in Germany, but like uh, actually factories uh, mass producing this stuff. The side chain is isocyanate and two most common exposures for isocyanate. The first would be automobile exhaust, but not just any automobile exhaust. We're not talking from the 40s. It has to come out of a catalytic converter. Catalytic converters are, thankfully, the reason why some of the pulmonary destructive chemicals have gone out of the air. Those aren't going out there anymore. But as an unintended consequence, it makes isocyanate. And so the catalytic converter went on the market 1975. So now all of a sudden, every car becomes an isocyanate producer. The second major source is wildfires. And Dr. Maria Wei in San Francisco has just kind of put this on the map in terms of not just wildfires as a driver of eczema, but a immediate trigger that can increase the rate of eczema flares in and around the surrounding community. 